everybody, welcome back to Easy Breezy. Before we get this video started, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button for this video. It really helps out the channel. Today, we're going to be working on a still FS45C. Uh, we got it from a customer that was getting rid of a bunch of things uh, that he got with the house when he bought it. Uh, he was told this was used maybe one or two times, but it has been sitting for the last, oh, I want to say 10 years. Uh, he hasn't touched it. So, you know, let's, I haven't even pulled the rope on it yet, so let's see what it does. Now, this is a spring loaded, I believe. Turned over a little, there we go. Okay, sounds pretty good. Let's uh, get that plug pulled out. Like I said, this thing hasn't been ran for quite a while. Uh, so we'll get that plug out. I want to dump some, a little bit of oil down there just kind of get everything lubricated. Sometimes these can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get off. There we go. Alrighty. Now we'll grab our plug wrench. It's gonna be a three-quarter plug in there. Oh boy, that took a little bit to break loose. Alright, so get this plug out. And I'm just gonna put some uh, chain oil in her. Oh boy. So you can definitely see that thing up there we go she needs a new plug that's for darn sure all right so sorry to keep going in front of the camera we're gonna just throw some chain lube in there the reason i like this stuff is because it's thick and it tends to actually stick on a little better Kind of pull it over a little bit so it gets all over that cylinder. And then we're going to let it soak. I'm going to go grab a new plug. All right, so I actually found a different plug that is used. What we'll do is we're going to gap it. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if it'll focus on this. This might be a little too hard to focus. Uh, but on this tool here, see if I can do this. There we go. On this tool here, come on, camera. There's 30 thousandths, there we go. So we're just gonna go up to 30 thousandths. It's about 32 thousandths is generally what you want. It's always a good idea if these things have been sitting for a while, throw oil down the cylinder. For what's gonna help your compression, to start, start back up, get those rings back lubricated again. Does not take much to get these plugs tight, so do not crank on them. You will strip the head. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to spark test it. We'll throw this on this side. There we go. We'll throw this right there. See if I can point it for you guys to see. Make sure our switch is on. Oh yeah. As you guys see, I kind of put it in slow motion and get you guys kind of zoomed in there. All right, so we'll get that spark tester off there. Get this air cleaner off, see how bad that is. Oh, it looks, looks pretty good. These are a hardened pack air, fil air filter. So she's a little oily in here. Not too bad. I think what we ought to do is throw some uh, gas in her and see what she does. Let's 
Zorin. See what she does. Sounded pretty darn good. All right, so we got two 516s bolts down there. Or two nuts, excuse me. Now, a lot of times, nope, these don't fit. When you have impact sockets, they do not fit in there. So let me go grab the right ones. All right, so we got the right socket now. Uh, just a non-impact 516s 3 8 drive socket. And it is kind of a tight fit, so we'll kind of push it on there a little bit first. I really don't have much for quarter sockets here right now. I ended up having to bring them home for another project that we got going on at home. There we go. Set that up there with this. And now we'll get this over to the bench so we can get it apart. All right, so we're back over here at the bench. Now, what we're gonna do is get the primer side off and this side, we're gonna strip down the whole carburetor, uh, pull these out, get everything cleaned up. Oh yeah, you guys can kind of see there that some of the, the old gas is kind of left in it. So we're going to get that cleaned out. You guys can kind of hear that. Now that's what it's meant to do. So it looks like it, it, looks like it is working. All right, so we got that off. Look at all this. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That's full of garbage. So we're gonna keep getting this thing tore apart. All right, so I got all the jets out of it. We did take that little jet out that was right there. Let's get our cleaner. Now generally what I like to do is just kind of blow through everything. Because if there is something jammed, in a crevice, things like that, it should come out. All right, I'm gonna spray off the whole carburetor. Get one of our rags, gonna give it a good wipe down. Make sure we get all this rust crud out of here. Sure you blow through that uh, seat for the needle real well. All right, let's get her back together. All 
All right, so we didn't get this part. I got the jets in and the needle and seat. Well, excuse me, the needle. It's a rubber tips uh, needle on it, so let's get this kind of out of there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this primer soak with some penetrating oil. And what that'll do is it'll soften up that primer just a little bit so that it works just a little bit better. All right, so we'll get this gasket off of this side here. It's going to be funny off. But this thing doesn't have a lot of power on the whole middle of the Let's get that top off. So that's really all we need to get off is that top one. There we go. See, there's that little bit of crud up here and things like that. That's that's what we'd want to try to get. All right, got that blown out. That's all cleaned up now. now I'm just kind of letting this soak. I got some PB blaster in it. Now we'll get this side here and get that all put back together. All right. Now, because my hands are a little dirty, I'm going to give it another quick spray out before we put that diaphragm back in. Now remember, this piece here goes towards the, uh, the needle. Now what I like to do is put some uh, PB Blaster in the carburetor before I put this on. Kind of look to see which way this thing goes. All right. We'll grab our primer. Again, it's got some PB blaster in it. Just kind of helps everything stay lubricated. All right, let's, let's get this carburetor on here so we can get this thing finished up. Does not look like we're getting any fuel. I wonder if, wonder how the health of the uh, lines in the tank are. Let's see if we flip these real quick, these gas lines, and see if that helps. So back with the still, uh, we ordered a new carburetor, actually couldn't get it to adjust in. I think the carburetor is kind of worn out, uh, diaph needs diaphragms replaced, things like that. Uh, 
It's actually a lot cheaper just to order another carburetor online. Uh, we had to wait about two weeks to get it in. So let's get started getting it changed and I'll bring you guys along. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see if we can get this thing to prime up. As you can see, the primer is starting to get some fuel. Well, let's see if we can get her started. Get the choke, get the throttle. All right, guys, there you have it. We got the steel weed whip running. Uh, I'm gonna put the air filter, new plug in it, things like that. You guys probably aren't interested in watching that. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be greatly appreciated. It always helps out the channel. Uh, we just hit over 100 subscribers. I wanna say thank you guys again. It's quite crazy to think we got that many in just over two months. Um, but you guys made it happen. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay out of trouble, even though it ain't always fun. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a great one, you guys.